best like even when I'm at my worst. I'ma check my ways up, I'ma always put you first. All these other girls, I'ma leave them at the curve. And that's my word. What's, What's up, Cupids? Cupids? It's your boy Maya. And it's the girl Rose. And, and we here to act stupid. Today, guys, we will be telling you guys some very heartbreaking news. So guys, we've been getting asked a lot of questions as to why Maya isn't here with me, why am I not wherever he is, and the answer to that question is pretty simple. That uh, we're separating. I'll yeah. answer that one. You wanna explain to them? Well, we're not going to the same college because I'm going to one closer to home. I'm not coming upstate. And I think that we should just separate because like, I don't really trust her. And I guess I don't really trust him. I and guess he I gave her a reason not to trust me. So well, clearly we can't work out through long distance. So we just decided to take a break on us until like I don't even think this was relationship was like meant to be. Alright, don't drag it. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> but I mean it is true. He is choosing to stay home and go to school. Yep. And I would have decided to stay home to go to school as well, but my internship was already set in stone for this semester up here in upstate New York. And she only so, had to take one semester, then she'll come back home to me. Yeah. So. Mm, we do trust each other, and if we did have to do long distance, we would definitely be able to do it. Look like how we're doing now. Yeah, <laughs> like we are how we are doing now. That was funny. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I see your face. I just caught you. Yeah, we just really caught you. you. Stop Let's get playing. it. Stop playing. <laughs> we did that. But yeah, guys, it's going to be tough, but it's just four months, and I know we're going to work through it because our love is so much stronger than the distance that's put between us. And we both don't have Friday classes, so like some weekends, we could definitely, I'll go see you. He'll come see me. Definitely. And we're gonna make it work, guys. This ain't about nothing. This is just a little minor setback, major well, comeback. Major comeback. Because we have nothing it. but bangers coming for you guys this summer. Now that we're both gonna be back home, we have so much more like opportunities and resources to make you guys bangers after bangers. So guys, to not make this video short, we wanted to update you on the reason why we're separated right now. But we're gonna work through it. And we wanted to give you guys an updated Q&A because it's been something that you guys have been asking for for a very long time. And we haven't done it since our first video. Yeah, our first video was in February of last year. It's about to be February of this year. So why not do one year updated Q&A? Guys, before we get into the Q&A, comment down below if you remember what's his name from our very first, first Q&A. Yeah, our first video was a Q&A. And he popped out. He hasn't popped out in a really long time. Word. So if y'all know his real name, y'all really a cupid. So we gotta see who's who's the real. And one. don't go back to the video and cheat. Nah, y'all can go back to the video down, and cheat. I need them to comment down below right now. Right <laughs> now. The first question is, who said I love you first? So this is actually a very <laughs> tricky question. I'm gonna tell you guys why. All right. So. Don't tell them my part. Tell them your own part. All right. So me and Maya, we was in the shower, right? And I wanted to tell him something. I was like, I got to tell you something. And he's like, what? And I was like, nah, forget it. Because I don't want to be the first person to say it. So I was like, nah, forget it. But then later on that night, he said it for the first time. I said, I already knew what she was going to say. That's the crazy part. I already knew what's coming. So I was like, I know what she's going to say. And I do feel the same way, but I didn't know when to say it. So when we were well, he was about to lay down, go to sleep, I was like, babe. I love you. Ah! <laughs> she was mad. I was so happy. I was like, I really was going to tell you that earlier, but he already knew. That I already told knew. Me. I could tell. So it was like, high five. You said it first, but I, I thought it first. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Second question is. Comment down below if you like our handshake, guys. Word. Or if y'all want to see it in slow motion, or like, yeah. Cause it took us a very long time to get that. It took us a while. Yo. Yeah. All right. Second question is, do we miss our exes? The fuck? <laughs> I don't even have an ex though. For real, what are those? What are those? Sorry, me and I don't got those. Yeah, we'll questions. make that a quick question. I don't know what that is. Question number three. Do we plan on traveling? 
I plan on traveling all around the world with you, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna be super clingy this video because listen, we haven't seen each other in a whole week and we're like done. Word. But um, yeah, of course. We already have traveled twice together. Yeah. And we plan on traveling way more, more times. Time. We've only been together for a year, guys, and we already traveled twice. I think that's... That's really good. Yeah. All right. Question number four. four. All right. One thing we would like to accomplish as a couple. I would like to, personally, as a couple, I want to accomplish getting our degrees. Even if it's not the same time, I just want that to happen. I want yeah. to blow up and YouTube. I, I think that was the first thing that I thought about. Like, I just want us to blow up on YouTube. Yeah. But overall, you can't forget the most important thing to accomplish as a couple, which is to just be happy. Yeah, be happy. I just want to be happy with my baby all the time. Like, that's it. That's forget the everything else. Thing. If nothing else works, if me and him work, we happy. Yeah. That's it. Question number five. <laughs> what is one moment we've been through together that we would change and why? That's a really good question. Yeah. Do you have anything to go? I can't think of anything. I can't really think of nothing off the top, but I think that like all the arguments that we had, like it was good because we learned from it. Yeah. Everything that we've been through has led us up to how strong we are now. So I, I really don't think we would take back anything or regret anything. Something that we would change. We was friends for mad long. We should have just started dating once, like. Nah, cause... but we was mad cool though, so we yeah, were mad we fun. And we that's was... what made us like more comfortable. Yeah, it made our foundation more stronger. So I guess I wouldn't change that either. Yeah, nah. So no, nothing, guys. We love all of our imperfections. Question number six. six. What have you guys learned from each other? What have you learned from me? From okay. you. I learned how to be patient and freaking like um because sometimes like I be getting aggravated at little things I don't know because like when I'm really focused on doing one thing there's like no setting there's like yeah. no changing that like once he's set he's set like his, he got tunnel vision to what he so then do. like see sometimes he'd be distracting me or like be asking me to do stuff and I'd be like oh my god like yeah. Or oh, was he wake me up from my naps? Oh my god, he is so cranky when he wakes up. Like, you can't even talk to him. I'd be asleep, I'd be knocked out. She'd be like, babe, wake up, wake up. Let's go downstairs, let's go downstairs. I want food. I'd be like, what? He'd be so I'd be aggravated not going at me. I'd be but, he's, tight. but he's getting way better. He's then I'd just be like, then I'd be like, oh snap, I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to get mad at you. Yeah. So he's getting better at it. It's, it's a work in progress, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what would I learn from you? Okay. Um. I've learned definitely how to communicate better. I've definitely learned how to communicate better because of him. Because I'm so used to like just shutting down and walking away from my problems. And he's telling me like, no, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk about this. You're gonna tell me what's wrong. We're gonna get through it. And I think I've said this. I think I've said this before in one of our videos, but it's really the truth. Like he's definitely telling me how to communicate better. And I still do to this day. Like yeah. she be getting mad. I'll be like, come on. I have really to like, do that. remind myself. Question number seven. I actually really like this question. So shout out to the person who asked this question. Is it hard managing a business with your partner? I mean, not if you just having fun with the business. But sometimes it does be getting like a little crazy. Cause like he be having videos he wanna do and then I have videos I wanna do. So I'll be like, no, like I wanna do my video. And he be like, no, I wanna do my video. So I'm like, <laughs> But as long as we get it done, that's what matters. We have like a whole list full of videos to do for you yeah. guys. So we're gonna get And to I got my little notes full of pranks, you know? I have mine too. <laughs> but yeah, it does get hard at times, but y'all just gotta fight through it because y'all know y'all doing it for the better of the both of y'all and for our cupids as but well. Most of the time it's fun because like you see your progression and you see how much good things are coming out of it so and also we always have memories to look back to oh yeah facts. that's one of the was one of our favorite things about like yeah, having we always YouTube. talking about that we could once we get older we're gonna look back at all these videos we could show our kids these videos i'll be like damn my face was like nice yeah it would be really nice to like be able to look back so eight when will y'all believe is the right time for y'all to have a baby so I'm gonna answer this question because you Because we have the this. same exact answer anyway. Yeah, so. guys, we are not planning to have any babies anytime soon. The right time for us would be when we're financially ready. We have our own place, our own car. That's when we're ready, basically. 
And we wanna travel, we wanna travel, we wanna have fun before we settle down and bring a baby to this world. I'm not saying that you can't travel and have fun, but a baby just makes things harder. And we just wanna try to do things the right way as much as we can. A baby is like having two other jobs. Yeah, it's gonna really, be a lot. Yeah. And we're not ready. <laughs> All right, so this question gets asked a lot. And you've been dying to answer this question too, but I said I told you to wait. I for forgot. Q &A. I don't know what it is. Bro. All right, N question number nine. What is our ethnicity? Oh wow, I'm <laughs> so, Hawaiian. No, I'm <laughs> shut up. Be Samoan. Yo, everybody think I'm Samoan, Hawaiian, Indian. What else? Dominican. Dominican. Um, what else? Puerto Rican. Anything Spanish. That's one. Mm -hmm. An Indian, Indian Hawaiian, Zang. Samoan. You always Mad stuff like that. So I just be like, yo, I'm Hawaiian. Chinese, Asian. Alright, but look, the real answer is. Gonna get a drum roll, please. <laughs> Philippine and black. That's it, guys. My boyfriend, low, foreign, or whatever. And me, I am the best of both worlds. I am Dominican and Puerto Rican, okay? Yo, is it true that, like, Dominican people and Puerto Rican people hate each other? Because Damn. they say that Puerto Rican people cannot speak Spanish. But I'm just saying there's I don't mean, no harm. All right, so <laughs> I'm always in the middle of this debate because I'm both, so I just be like, wow. And she but, speaks Spanish. Yeah, I speak Spanish. But I grew up with my Dominican side of the family, so I guess that's why I speak the better Spanish people talk about. But they cut ass on people, well, they snap at people that are Puerto Rican because Puerto Ricans like to like emphasize the word S a lot. Yes, say example. Like, como estas? Like, como esta. well, well, me, I always oh, say, como, como estas? Esta. Yeah, that's como it. Estas. Yeah, but they be like, like, they like to use the S a lot. And then, well, you can't really say, like, specific people, maybe, but not yeah. all Puerto Ricans. Yeah. And another thing is, like, we have a lot of the same things, but we call it different. Like, Dominicans, for example, oh, yeah, the hard they... part of the rice is called con con. That's how yeah. we say it. But Puerto Ricans say pegao. Oh, yeah. So, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, like, always it's like, a controversy. It's like Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominican, and all of them, they speak different Spanish. Yeah. Because I'll say a word, and then Rose wouldn't understand it. I'll be like, how you don't understand it? Yeah, because, I don't know, it's just different. We, we all speak Spanish, but it's just different Spanish. Different cultures, I guess, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, people have been dying to find out what's our ethnicity, so there you guys go. Question number 10. One thing we both regret from our past. I guess we kind of answered this question already. What? When we when they asked um, what moment we've been through together that we would change. I feel like it's the same as a couple and us as person. Everything that we've been through has led us to the people we are now. So it was like, how can we regret it? Yeah, I don't really want to regret anything in my life. I don't want to dwell on the past or none of that. So. Yeah, so we both don't regret anything. We both are the people we are today because of all of the trials and tribulations we've been through. Maybe I will regret uh, just a little bit. What? Um, eating math. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like I was just way skinnier before, but I'm not fat or nothing, but it's just that I got bigger. Guys, like, I need you guys to comment down below and tell my boyfriend that he's fire, please, and to stop playing with himself. I'm not saying nothing bad. I'm just saying, though, listen, it's mad funny. He's fire. My boyfriend is so fire. <laughs> It's funny. So everybody comment down below, Team Maya right now. With the fire emojis. I yes, let's do it. Question number 11. One thing we don't like that the other does. Yo, I like mad food and she freaking hates every food in the world. I don't hate every food oh in the world. Don't do gosh, that. That is bro. not true, guys. I'm just simple. Like, that's what it All is. Alright, there's a difference between being simple and just liking something. Like, just because somebody likes a variety of food don't mean they're not simple. Alright. They good. actually are right, simple fine, because fine, 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 you fine, can fine, just give them a meal and they can be like, oh yeah, thank you. But you? Nah, right, I don't so like call that. call it what you want to call it then. What you calling me? Picky. Yes, I'm picky. Okay, yes, you're not I don't simple, care. you're picky. I'm picky. Fine. I say simple, he says picky. Whatever. Alright, what is that? What is what is she actually? Everybody I'm comment. Simple. Team Rose is picky with a fork and spoon emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one thing I don't like that he does, um leave you in the morning to go to the gym. <laughs> I mean, I gotta like that, cause you know, that's a good thing at yeah, the end true. of the day. 
But I guess it would be what we said earlier. Like, he'd be mad cranky sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. You definitely don't like that. And I don't like how sometimes he'd be so set in his ways that when I talk to him, like, he don't even be trying to listen. It takes me telling him probably, like, five, <laughs> ten times. And he'd be like, I don't yeah. be wanting to change. He'd be like, damn, babe. All right, you right. You After right. I told him the same thing ten times. After she get upset. But <laughs> at, least be, right, right, right. at least he comes around. At least he comes around. Right. Question number 12. Ooh. Would we do public pranks? Yeah, we would like to start doing public pranks, actually. Comment down below what type of public pranks public you guys would like to see. Public pranks the beach, yo. Beach at the mall, at the pranks. beach, all of that. Yeah. I actually thought of a really good public prank. So I'll tell my public prank idea and you say yours. Right, and they comment which one you like better. So you go first. No, you go first. All right, so mine is that like, we could be at a mall or anywhere somewhere and then like I just stand somewhere and I'm on my phone and then Maya just comes and like slaps my butt and then like I just be like who oh, are you and like trying to like make it seem like it's like public harassment or something yo that's gonna be mad funny and then like see people's reactions like will somebody defend me will somebody like argue with him like, oh wait you know what we should do in that video what? I slap so your you like butt my video idea yo nah I like it but like it's not better than mine though. <laughs> Alright, but look, I slap your butt, and then, um, but you act like you don't know me, and then you slap my butt, and I act like I don't know you. So it's like, will people defend the girl or will people defend the boy? Oh, so it's like a public experiment. Yeah, prank, prank at the yeah, same time. Yeah, I yes, like sir. that. Alright, mine is basically the same thing a public prank and a public experiment because. I will go on one meet and I'll ask you to marry me and it's either you say yes or you say no. Let's see the crowd's reaction. Yeah, we could do both. I could say yes for some and um, yeah. no for some other Yeah, groups. yo, that's yeah. gonna be funny. All right, guys, so comment down below which one you would like to see first. Yeah. Because we're gonna do both. Yeah. But we wanna know which one y'all wanna see first. Question number 14. Tips for someone that wants to start a YouTube channel. Rule number one, don't give up. That's really all it is. Keep working, keep grinding, keep posting videos. Somebody's gonna like it eventually. Like, there's gonna be that one video that's gonna blow up and then you won't even know which one it is. Maybe not just... even blow up. It could probably just get like 100 or 200 views, but then you're gonna just attract people that be like, yo, I really like your stuff. I really like this, I really like that. Mad stuff like that. So I feel like the number one rule is just to keep going. Like, don't, um, don't feel discouraged if your first few videos don't hit a lot of likes, don't get a lot of views. It's gonna come around eventually. And another so. one tip also is not to be lazy because you're gonna have to edit, you have to do this, you have to do this. There's gonna be times when you gotta make a video, it's been a while, and you just like, oh, I don't even feel like making one. Like, yep. you wanna do something else with your time, but that's the only way you gain supporters because they need to see that content. Another big tip for starting a YouTube channel. Don't let the hate comments get to you. Word. The hate and the love is what keeps us going. So. And brings you support. Exactly. Because so. somebody might just defend you, you never know. We be getting, people be defending us and not coming. Word. We be like, wow, <laughs> we didn't even have to say nothing. The Viagra prank though? Got a lot of hate. But with hate comes love. Gotta True. hate us to love us. Now people come in that we funny and then some people come and say like, yo, why you did that to like, People's why like, you really ew, that? She's annoying. Like, yeah. <laughs> Why she's doing so much? The boy is supposed to do everything. Girl, I was on right aggro. What you think? <laughs> like, <laughs> and she was with me. What you think? <laughs> but um, yeah, don't let the hate get to you. Keep going. And what was the one you said? Don't be lazy with editing. You can't stop editing because there might be times that I go through that I edit the whole entire video, oh and then something just happens, like it just deletes, and I have to re-edit the whole. Thing. And he does it. I be so He complains, angry. he be mad, but he does it because he knows like we need this, we need this so content. Angry. So just keep going. Don't let the hate get to you, and don't be late. Question number fourteen, which is also the last question of our updated Q and A. Do you and Maya ever argue throughout the day? Yes, but you know why? Because you no, because of her. Because of him. Because of her. Because of him. She wanna wake me up from my freaking naps. Like who you think you Shut are? Baby, like, I won't be taking naps. It's just it's rare that I take a nap. So when he does and I wake him up from it, I'd be like, bro, I'm not gonna say this to you. But <laughs> yes guys, we are just like any normal couple. Just because we're a YouTube couple doesn't make us any different. We go through everything just like every couple. We're not robots. 
<laughs> we're not perfect either. So yeah, we do argue, but we get through it. And we don't argue about nothing crazy. We yeah. argue about, yo, why, why you, I don't know. Oh. The stupidest things, like why you talk to me like that? Why was your voice so loud? Word. Why did you curse in that sentence? Like, it'd be the stupidest thing that we be dragging. Wow, it. you really not gonna go downstairs to eat? You then wow. are gonna, gonna pour me a bowl of cereal? Word. Badass? Three o'clock in the morning, pour me a bowl of cereal. What? I be having the munchies. I be needing some freaking cereal. Cereal's like the, the best late night snack, guys. Call me on that. Call me on that, yo. Hey, man, hey. <laughs> <laughs> guys. This was, I guess, a little life update. Why we separated slash updated Q&A. Yeah. Y'all already know the vibes. Y'all already know the vibes. Y'all know how we come in all 2020. Come in. Yes. So guys, I don't want you guys to think that this separation is holding us back from anything because we still have a few videos that we've recorded and we haven't posted. So on the meantime, when we're not together, we'll be posting those vlogs, those pranks that we have. Safe. And we might even do individual videos because I could do something while I'm at home, of course, and you could do things out here. Yeah, I have um, a few things coming up that I'm just going to be doing by myself. You guys need to comment down below some things for my baby boy to do by himself. So that way we could just keep you guys, you know, we don't want to just stop posting even though we're not together. So. Yeah, and I could definitely post some workout routines because I'll be in the gym all the time. So that's one thing I could definitely do. But yeah, guys. This pretty much sums it up. Y'all already know what I gotta do. Y'all have to smash that like button. Boom! Hit that comment section up. Pow! And tell your mother, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your uncle, tell your mother, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your uncle. Hey! hey.